This is our Suncast Modernist Shed. I built this shed for my wife's birthday. It's a 10 by 7 foot shed. So this is a pretty good size shed here. One of the really nice things about this shed is it has the sliding barn door on it. It's got the tracks up here so you can slide the door open here. And then it's got a really big entryway right here. So yeah, this doorway is pretty nice. You can fit a lot of stuff through here. The shed's pretty easy to put together. They say you can put it together in a weekend. It took me a little bit longer than that. Uh, we had some bad weather on Saturday, a lot of wind, and so it was kind of hard to put up the walls and stuff like that. So that slowed me down a little bit there. And then on Sunday, I was able to put it all together. And then I had an issue with getting the roof to line up. So I had to spend a little bit of time on Monday finishing up and moving some things and making some adjustments. In this video, I'll show you some of the mistakes that I made. So hopefully you can avoid those mistakes and then you won't have to spend some extra time adjusting everything like I did. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look inside and then uh, I'll show you how I put it together. All right, so this is what it looks like in here. It's uh, 10 feet along the back wall right there. And then it's another seven feet over here on the side. So you can see you got a lot of room to store stuff in here. All this stuff was on our back patio, the air compressor, the pressure washer, the saw and the mulcher and the uh, wet vac down there, all the pool equipment, everything. This was all on the back patio. So my wife was really happy that we got all this stuff cleared off the back patio and put out here in the shed. I put a little table here to organize some of my pool equipment and another little table there for a little workbench area. Eventually, I want to build some nice shelves and a workbench in here to keep all the stuff organized. And then I want to put uh, some hanging racks up here to hang up some of the yard tools right there and to hang up some of the pool equipment and stuff. I got all these uh, pool hoses and stuff here. I'd like to hang those up. But yeah, so there's a lot of room in here. And it's got this uh, windows in here on the side and this shed roof. So it's got the windows here on the front too. So there's a lot of light in here. So that's really nice. Comes with a really good instruction manual. Tells you all the different uh, tools and stuff that you'll need there. And then when you open up the, the manual here, it's got it divided into different sections telling you how to do everything. And then there's also um, a 3D animation that you can follow as well, and that's really helpful too. All right, there you go, there's the shed tour. Now I'll go ahead and show you how I put it all together. In the first part of the video, it's gonna be pretty simple, just showing you how what it's like to put it all together and everything. And then in the second part of the video, I'll go over some of the problems that I had when I was putting this thing together. So hopefully you don't make the same mistakes I did and it'll be a little bit easier for you to put this thing together than it was for me. All right, let's go ahead and get this video started. I got three pieces laid out here for the shed base. The uh, one issue here is it says that you want A, B, and D. So if you look on here, we got our A and we got our B and then there's no C we go straight over here to D. C is a totally different piece. It's not one of the ground pieces. It's not one of the floor pieces. All right, so we got all those laid out and the writing is on the bottom. So you'll flip them upside down to read the writing. And this is the area I'm gonna put it. I got my shed base prepared. I went with a paver base and then I got the concrete edging around it to hold the pavers in place. Underneath the pavers, I got a layer of gravel and a layer of sand. And the area is all level there. And then I got this tree here. I trimmed the tree so that I could build the shed right over here. He's got some handles here, but they're kind of sharp there. That's where they connect together. So you could carry it by this, but you might want to wear some gloves. To get started, I need to find the hardware that I need. We got two boxes here. We got a door kit. And we got a window kit. The first parts I need are GG. This is GG right here. So it's these three pieces. I need to attach these to the floor. So I got those. And then they attach to JJ is the screws that we need. And they're here in the window kit. There's part JJ right there. So I'll need nine of those. We'll see which ones we got in here. Okay, we got all these bags of screws in here that look the same, but these are a little bit smaller and they have a different number on them. All these say 0480377. 
and this one says 0480516. So these are probably the J's, J's right here. So I got my screws and I got my brackets. So I just laid all these out here and then I'm going to go ahead and take them over to the patio area there where I'm going to put the shed. They're a little hard to hold on to, especially on a windy day. So be careful with them because they might blow away. So I'm not sure where the brackets go, if they go to the back or to the front. And so if you look on the back here, you're looking for these slats right here. That's where we're going to put the hardware. The GG will go right in here, and then the JJ screws will go right there. So I'll flip this over here to do that. It's got a space in there, so you can just fit it right into place there. And it's pre-drilled, so you just drill it in. All right, I got the base down here. These had to be switched. This one is B, is D. You start off with D here, and then this one is B, the middle one, and then the one on the right is A. And then you just fit them all together and line them up there on your shed base just how you want them. This is pretty nice uh, floor here. It's got this nice material on here, so it feels like it's like got some slip resistant on there. Looks really nice, good quality. So yeah, it's not slippers, it's, I'm slipping around a little bit here, but it's still pretty nice. Okay, so you get the idea now on how to assemble this, so I'm going to kind of skip through here. The directions are pretty good, so if you follow the directions, you should be fine. But there's a few things that can be kind of confusing. You're supposed to get these L brackets here out of this box here, but they're not really labeled, so it's kind of confusing on which ones they are. So you just have to get the ones that fit in here like this. So you look at what you do. You put these two pieces of the door together, and so this is the size of the bracket that you need right here. So this is how it should look when it's done. And then here's all the hardware that I put on the door. I just followed the instructions there. And you can see here those slats that we put on, those G slat, GG slats. That's what holds the door in place so it doesn't fall out at the bottom. Okay, I'm making some progress here. This is the front window panel. This is two pieces that you put together, and then you put uh, two of these uh, small brackets in there, one on each side, and then you got two medium brackets here that you put in the middle, and then you screw in all your window panels there. You put in your rubber seal there, and then screw in the window panels. You got three window panels there, and then you got uh, two middle pieces there, and so you get all this put together here. And then on the other side is the bracket for the barn door, for the, the bracket for the sliding door there. This one here was a little bit tricky to line up. So I just kind of had to screw those holes out in the plastic there to give it a little more room. On the other side here, you see you can move them around a little bit. So you got some leeway in the metal. Just the plastic was a little bit tight there, so I had to ream that out a little bit with a drill bit. But other than that, this went together pretty good. So that looks pretty nice there. And then the same thing over here on the side windows there. Those were pretty simple. There's no metal brackets there. You just screw in the, the windows there. And that's all you have to do for these. I'm starting to put the walls up here. This piece just folds around like that, and then it's got some slats in the floor there that you slide it into. Here's the what it looks like here. You just slide it into those uh, slats on the floor there. And then it's got this little tool here where you just screw in the uh, plastic bolts there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put this one in here, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so we got an arrow here that says up, and then down there it says back left corner. 
It's a little deceiving because it looks bigger on this side, but this has to slip in here to lock to this piece here. So the way to get these in here is you just you line it up like that. You gotta pull them down and then push them into place. You can use a rubber mallet or if you're wearing good boots, you can just kind of kick it into place there. So just don't try that with your flip flops. Then you can lean it forward a little bit to get these to go in. And if you if you did it right, this should line up right here, like that. And then you can put your bolts in. And then you just put your bolt and your screw in there with a little tool that came with it. Yeah, make sure your holes line up so you can get the bolt in there. This one's kind of flimsy, so you have to hold it and bolt it at the same time. All right, here's some progress here. We got uh, the left wall in, the back wall in, and we're starting on the right wall here. So we're making some progress. And keep your little tool handy there. So it comes with these little uh, plastic uh, bolts right there and this little bolt tool, this plastic bolt tool. You just put these in here like this and you make sure this is nice and snug there and you can see it's lined up there. And then you can just put this in and screw it. And then you'll start to hear it click in there and you know it's in. The ones down here might be a little bit tricky and sometimes there's not enough pressure there. You might need somebody on the other side to put some pressure on it. Let's see if I can get this one in. Oh, that one worked. As long as you hear it clicking, then you know you're in. got the last wall on there so now we have uh, all four walls on there this is what it looks like out here here's what it looks like on the inside here pretty good size in here 10 by 7 so yeah this is pretty nice right here I trimmed this tree up here I think it's will be enough there for us to put the roof up but it started to grow back on me but I think we'll be all right When I put in this uh, shed pad, I made sure I had enough room here to be away from the wall here. I'm a little bit more than three feet away from the back wall here, so it'll be easy to walk around through here. And then same thing over here on this side. Far enough away there from the pool pump there to walk around back here. So we got plenty of room to walk around. So yeah, this is looking pretty nice. All right, now we're on to the next step. Get up. Okay. All right, I think we got it. Let's go. We're stuck. Somewhere we're, look. we're stuck somewhere. No, we just need to push down. Yeah. There you go. Now you gotta start drilling. Okay. All right, we got it in there. Now I just have to put all the screws in place to hold it in place there. All right, we got that top panel up there and you just, it's held together by these little screws here. So right now it's kind of in a fragile state. So that's why they say, don't put this up on a windy day but it's held up there good enough now. And then once we get the side panels in there, then it'll start to fit together. 
sure they're all in there. Okay. Okay. Alright, I was <coughs> a step off there. The next step is you put the back panel on there. And then we just screw all those in. there it's just a matter of getting it to line up to get it to pop in and then that should make things a little bit stronger because now we got it tied together there same thing over here on this side all right so now I'm working on the framing for the inside and this part was a little bit tricky here uh, because these didn't quite line up right so as what I did is I loosened up the screws on this piece right here and then that way I could get these into place here and kind of get everything to line up there that way so I just loosened up those screws so I could slide things over and then I put the top screws in there before I put the rest in and then I got these pieces here that slide down these pieces slide down into here and then they have these little uh, caps on the bottom there so this is what it should look like back here and these go in the second hole right here so that that's how far up they should fit right there. And so yeah, just loosen up these screws right here so that you can kind of get this to slide around. When you screw this in, it will be a little bit wonky, but they'll uh, kind of pull it into place there and then you'll be able to get these screws in there. For these long pieces that go up over here, it says you put these little caps in and I thought it was easier to put these caps on before I assembled it because once you put it up there, it's going to be a tight fit to get that little cap in there. So there's another little tip in there. Put that on first. And then when you put this on here, if you have uh, all four of these screws lined up right here, then the rest of the screw holes should line up here. I don't think there was any screw holes uh, right here though, so you'll have to just kind of drill it in there. But as long as you get those four lined up on the top there, those four holes on the top, then everything else should line up. I wasn't sure if I made a mistake here because there's no, there's nothing to screw these holes into. And then I saw these other holes here. So I thought I might be off a little bit. So I measured it here. And I got eight and a half inches here and eight and a half inches on the top and I wanted to make sure it lines up with the back piece so that the trusses will connect and then I got eight and a half inches here so I figure we're all right I'm just not sure why there wasn't a, a couple of holes there anywhere to screw that into so I thought maybe I made a mistake but I think that's all right I'm just going to go ahead and go with it and we'll see what happens I trimmed this tree when I set up the shed pad, but it looks like it's starting to grow back now. <laughs> starting to come down in here into the shed. I was looking at this here and we were gonna put the door up here, but I put these wheels on right here and they need to go on the inside. There's a little bit of a lip right here to put them in. So I'm gonna have to redo that. I got those on backwards. So don't make the same mistake as I did. Don't put the wheels on the outside of the door, put them on the inside of the door. Since we put this strike plate in here, we decided to go ahead and put the door on and to test it out here. So we went ahead and put the door on the tracks there. 
And so we got that latched in there. So I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, you just lift this up to unlatch it. And then there's some bumpers here. We're just gonna go ahead and go out of order and install those bumpers. One thing to be careful about is uh, this could be a trap. This could be a, a enclosure hazard or whatever. Somebody could get locked in here. So it might need a handle on the inside, but you can lift that up. If you have kids running around, make sure you let them know because they might, you know, if a kid comes in here to hide or something, playing hide and seek or something like that, they could get stuck in here. So just show them how to open that up. But this is something that could be upgraded with a, a handle or a knob, so that's a little bit easier to open. But yeah, just make sure you get these screwed in here first before you put this plate on. So once I got this in here and I got this put on, then I realized this is not where this goes. This piece actually goes over here. So I think I have these reversed. I think this little piece here will go over here. And then this long piece goes right here. You can see all the little uh, screw holes there. So I just had these two reversed. That little piece goes over there. And then this long piece goes right here. So that's why this step is last. That's why the bracket is last there. Because you don't put the panel down here. You just put the little panel up here. And then that way it lines up with the one in the back. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fix that. I'm gonna take that one down and put this one up. And then it'll be time to start building the braces there. The center beam here to go across here. Put the center beam across there. And then we can start building the, the roof frame. All right, I got the center beam up and then this one didn't line up here. It was off. And so I got out the tape measure and then I realized that uh, these were off here. There's some extra holes in here. And then the same thing over here on this side. So these two beams here were put in the wrong place. They need to come over here. And I did the same thing over here too. I had this one was off and I realized that uh, I had screwed that in the wrong place. So I put it in the wrong holes here and this was really hard to line up too. So that was a little bit of unnecessary work I put it in the wrong ones there. And so I got this one to line up. And so at this point, my choice is I can either move this over and drill some holes in here, or I can fix this and move both of these back over. I think I'll just move these back over here. We'll see how that works. Cause that's where they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change those real quick. And then uh, I'll be done with this and I can tighten up all these bolts that I got in here. Okay, I got all the framing up here for the roof. And now I gotta go get the roof panels there. I have another issue that I, I have. There's another mistake that I made. I left these roof panels sitting out here in the sun. It took me longer to put that frame together than I thought, so these panels are really hot. So I'm gonna have to wear some gloves to carry these. But yeah, these things do heat up pretty good. All right, I got the roof on here, but I haven't been able to get it to line up. I'm having a problem here. I can't get this uh, back panel here to line up. This is how it should look here. It should come up here on the front so you can screw it in, but uh, I can't get that back panel to line up there. So I got it to line up here on the front. But I haven't been able to get it to line up here on the back. And you put it up on here and push it into these uh, slats there. But I just can't quite seem to get it to come back far enough to clear this lip here. I hit the front up there with a rubber mallet and all that did was just kind of dent up the front there. You see, I just got a bunch of dents in here from hitting it with the rubber mallet, but it didn't really move it. So I'm thinking, that these here are too tight. And so I'm gonna try loosening all these uh, 
bolts on here, all these nuts and bolts on here, and see if I can get this to move forward a little bit, enough to push this down back behind there. So we'll see if that's the problem. All right, from what I can tell here, there's a little lip right here, and the uh, brace needs to fit up in that lip there. And so you can see some of these areas right here. That lip needs to be up inside there. So that I can push this back. And then this one over here is off. And so it's not lining up there. It's off right here. So I might need to make an adjustment here. So I'll see how these all fit in there. This is preventing the back of the shed from moving forward so that I can get this over to the other side of the shed so I can get the roof to the other side of the wall. So I'll have to disconnect this one here and I'll see if I can make some adjustments to get it to line up flat there. All right, I made some progress by putting these up in here, by disconnecting this here so that these would fit up in here. And I got some of these to line up, but a few of them still aren't lining up right here. And then so I measured this, uh, this distance from here to here, and I'm getting about 24 and a half is what I'm thinking there for the, where the, this part should be up here. So I'm seeing this one's off up here too. Uh, this one's over at 25, so that could be throwing everything off. The same thing over here on this one. So I think I'm gonna disconnect those two right here, and I'm gonna see if that, uh, helps me get those last few lined up there. But yeah, I mean, I got some lined up here. I got sc some screws here, not on all of them. I'm missing a few, but then I got all the screws up on here. So that's pretty good, way better than it was before. That definitely helped to get these lined up in that groove right there. So make sure you do that. When you do these, make sure you line it up in those grooves right there. And then maybe your roof will go on a little bit better than mine did. So I disconnected this here and I could actually see an indent in here. So there's an indent here where this should go. So you can see how off those holes are there. So I'm gonna put, I push this over to that indent. Same thing over here on this one. I can see an indent in there. So I'm gonna push these over to, those, uh, to that indent there. And then I'll see if I can get it to line up better. Another thing I did here to try and push this down is I put this uh, weight up here. I put a 35 pound weight up there. Still couldn't quite get that to push down, but it's better than it was. At least it's connected there. So I wasn't able to get it perfect, but I do got it connected here. Oh, and I got a little bit of a workout. In the... All right, so I loosened this up and moved it around. Same thing over here on that one. And then I was able to get this just enough here. It didn't line up perfect, but I got enough here that I could pull that down to screw it in, and then I could screw those into the ceiling there. Another thing I may have done wrong is, you see some of these have two holes in them, and so if uh, this is too far back, you can use the second hole. So I think these should have been two holes all the way along, because I got to this spot here with one hole, and I couldn't screw into here. So it could matter also the way you put your beams. Put them all with the two holes in the back, and see if that works better, if it all lines up better. I think I just made a few mistakes here and there and it made everything kind of off a little bit. So it was hard for me to get the roof on, but I just went and checked and found the areas here where it wasn't lined up. And then I loosened up the nuts and bolts on here so I could move everything around. And then that way I could adjust it to where I need to. Now I can go back and, and retighten these. So yeah, if you have trouble with the roof, just kind of loosen up your bolts there on the on the beam and then make sure you're in those grooves there and then make sure these pieces are lined up here somehow I got off on this I don't know what happened here this piece is adjustable maybe I did it upside down or something I'm not quite sure because it should be over here same thing on this side here this one was also off so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it and then I'll get a drill bit and I'll just drill the new holes in here for that and then reattach it there. Cause I'm not sure where I was off and what I did wrong there. Same thing back here. Somehow I was off on these holes here too. So 
I'm just gonna re-drill those holes there to get this to line up. But yeah, this is a major accomplishment for me. Yesterday, there was no screws back here because I couldn't get any of this to line up. And then this morning, I got all this to uh, line up. And then this morning, I took all these off. And then I came back here, I got all this to line up. But then I couldn't get any of this to line up. And then that's when I realized that I had this problem here and that these need to fit inside that groove there and that this was off and that it was also off over here. So once I realized all that, I was able to get it kind of straight by wiggling it around and moving the pieces around here and there, putting it off here and putting it off over there to kind of pick up the slack and get it to fit. But yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. I'm not sure if it was me or if it was the shed, probably a little bit of both. But anyways, I'm happy that I got it done here. I made a lot of progress getting this set up. It looks really nice.